Happy Sunday, cowboy. Hello. Happy Sunday. Hey, Oliver. I am gonna go on a quick run. Oliver chewed up my shoelaces, so it's kind of difficult to tie them. <laughs> but I've been able to make it work. Yeah, thanks for that. You did this. Hey, did you do that? He knows. Got a little workout in. Now it is Sunday, so it is get your life together day. Which means I am finally going to build these nightstands. This bed is 90% done. I just have to build the built-in nightstands. I feel like it should be pretty easy to do, so let's do it. Hey, nightstands, let's do this. We have some lovely styrofoam. Here is the nightstand. Ooh. It's like mostly built. The drawer's already in it. There's really barely anything I actually have to do. Why I put this off for the weekend, I don't know. Okay, I have everything ready and know exactly how the nightstands have to go in. I'm just definitely gonna need some assistance from Monica on that one. We're currently dealing with the aftermath of a very, very windy day yesterday. The pool actually got pretty dirty. I skimmed the top of it and got just the leaves out, but some of them sunk to the bottom. Um, and then a lot of the chase lounges were, they actually didn't move at all, which is good. Just the tops had come down. So fixed that, got them back into place. I actually cleaned this little guy off. Even the turf moved, which is insane. Um, a lot of these pieces of turf like moved up because they're not actually nailed down yet. They still have to be nailed down and um, it's like evened out, um, which they'll do this week. But yeah, just trying to get this back into like a good, good condition. And we actually moved the table over to here for now. Um, yeah, I think it just, it looked a little too busy with all of that over there. And I think this will be better because it'll get a lot of shade throughout the day as well. Made a little caprese omelet for lunch. Yeah, let's see how eating in this spot is. Oh, hi. My pool girl. <laughs> I don't know if I'm like completely wasting my time yeah i i don't really know okay so we shifted the table just a little bit over so it's all on one concrete pad and um yeah that'll just be easier when you're moving the chairs it won't go on any turf monica is attempting to clean the pool i don't really know how you get that dirt on the bottom out like a machine that stuff. yeah the pool guy who comes twice a week definitely knows how to do it hello cow Definitely want to get an umbrella to put in this umbrella holder. I think that will be great. I love how this wall of ficus is already really grown in. So from here, like that, that's looking really nice. Like eventually all the ficus will be as tall and thick, actually thicker. There are some gaps in this, but this won't have any gaps. It'll be like that. But this is the backside. It's more like leafy. You don't see these like roots right here. So yeah, I'm just really excited for that but it will take a while. I'm not sure how long exactly it takes for that to grow, but I think it's like a year or two for it to really look good. Here's Monica's progress with the pool. I mean, it looks a little cleaner. It, there was more dirt over there, but yeah, I think we need to get the little vacuum thing going in there. We got it much cleaner in here. Now, the pool method we think worked. You should show them and then we, we'll get back and see if dirt just settled like oh yeah we may have just kicked up dirt and it it's gonna be like cloudy water and then it'll settle if anything or, it's a great workout for me true or it'll go into the pool filter but i feel like it already, already is settling like, but it, it's like i think some did filter i think so too otherwise got a good workout in so we found these illuminated like globes that you can put in a pool and they just float around they're pretty cool kind of random definitely not necessary but cool and they've got tons of different umbrellas here so yeah we're thinking so we're thinking of getting an umbrella to put in the table so ended up getting this cool little outdoor light you have to charge it but it charges really fast and then the battery life stays for like eight hours or something like that take a look so it's it's really simple. I feel like you always see this at kind of modern hotels, like a standard hotel. Um, but yeah, you put that little light in and it'll be nice there when it's like getting darker. We'll have that light. And we picked up El Patron. I'm trying to eat healthier today. Not trying, I am eating healthier today. So I got cauliflower instead of chicken, but that's, wow, they put a lot of cheese on that. 
okay. You know, whatever, treat yourself. Bon appetit. Cute. Cute. So we're charging up these lights right now, but we also got just little tea light candles because those are always just a vibe. And then that is another light. So this is also a light and we're just charging them all real quick. But it'll look cool at night. You can actually get a bunch of these, just place them in different spots and they're just kind of fun. It also floats in the pool, so that's cool. I think Oliver is enjoying the, the ambiance. Hi, Sir O. So here is the globe that's gonna go in the pool. Show them the colors. Wow, Dad Church is gonna be pumped for the colors. Wait, this is so cool. This makes me wanna have like a pool party post COVID. All right, I'm gonna go white and throw it in. Okay. Ready? So you just throw it in and like, it's and good? It just floats, apparently. Wow. Woo! Wow! New color. Too far away. Oh! This is, it feels like a video game. Oh. Yeah, seriously, it's cool. Yeah, we should definitely get more. And then we have these outside here. I'll show you guys what they look like. So it goes like that. That's a little too bright for my camera. I'll turn it down. So they look like that. And it's nice because you can just put them anywhere and they stay charged for hours. Um, so it's cool. Love it, but yeah, they're for outside. Just having a cozy night, cozy Sunday night. Monica and I are just watching random YouTube videos, Netflix. We watched a really creepy documentary about this hotel, um, the Cecil Hotel. And I had actually heard about this hotel in downtown LA before. This like, I didn't think it was a real thing, but I had heard about this tragic story about this girl who went missing and they found her in the water tank on the roof. I thought it was an urban legend too. I remember hearing about that years ago and watching this documentary, I was like horrified by the whole thing. Um, not an urban legend, very true. Interesting documentary, really, oh, really just horrible. I can't either, that hotel, I don't know how they're- I don't know if it's still open. I don't know how that hotel is in business because a lot of crazy shit went down there if you watched it. Anyway, our parents are actually got on a flight. The weather has been crazy in Seattle, snowing a ton, which it doesn't usually snow that much there. So a lot of flights didn't make it out, but yeah, they're on their way here. They're so excited. They but yeah, I'm excited for them to see all the changes because they haven't seen so much. They haven't seen this rug. They haven't seen the yard or the light. Obviously they've seen photos of it all, but um, yeah, they haven't seen like it in person. Pizza and house tours. Yeah, you didn't have to get cow up. Now get back there. Okay, my parents just landed, so we will get Dad Church's reaction to the concrete, even though it's dark out. Oh, hi, oh, 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 he's so excited. Oh, that's so funny. <laughs> Ollie. Oh, you're so excited. Here, let me dump Oh, jeez. This. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. There's a light here. Cow, cow, nice, right? Oh, cow. Yeah, now there is space up there for stuff. He's so funny. <laughs> Thought he was going to jump in. Whoa, where's your pool? Yeah, yeah. this will be built up. Yeah, the I want to I want to see it in the Good morning guys. It is 6 17 And I accidentally woke up and the sunrise was just crazy. Oh, it's a little bright Look at it. This is the best sunrise I've seen Probably in Palm Springs. I mean, I swear there's a cool one every day of course the camera doesn't really do it justice, but yeah. <sighs> My run actually felt so great this morning. It's gonna be a productive day. You hear that cow? Yes, productive. I don't know what that would mean for you, but maybe you'll go on a walk. <laughs> Sit. Let's see if he'll listen. Sit. Wow. They have taped up this whole area again, which 
Which always makes me a little sad because I love to look out on the pool, but just went to the grocery store to get some shots for my video. And I also got some food while I was there because we needed, we needed the essentials and made this little alvo egg thing. Yum. So I'm currently getting some shots for a video and it's like just off screen, you guys. And it's funny because people would never know unless they watch this vlog. And also Oliver, he's just sitting here being so cute. I just, I have to stop and pet him every so often. Editing poolside is a lifestyle I could get used to. Okay, not sure exactly what they're doing right now. I think painting out here? Yeah, they must have been painting or something. But I just placed an order for the hot tub. So obviously it's gonna go over here. It's gonna be a seven by seven foot hot tub. I should measure this to make sure. I mean, this will definitely, this is definitely more than seven feet. Yeah, these are like nine by eight. But yeah, I went with a new hot tub. It's about $8,000 for the hot tub, which is obviously a lot more um, economical than an in-ground hot tub and to the side I think it will be fine I think you know it's not like a big eyesore or anything um, I got it's a hot spring brand hot tub it will be here in two to four months so definitely a while that's why I want to get the order in today and um, what was I gonna say oh yeah it can fit six people so I feel like that is solid like perfect for Airbnb I'm excited. I'm most excited for the hot tub because anytime you're like a little cold in the pool, you can just jump in the hot tub and then go back in the pool. It's just the best. And then the outdoor shower over here will be great. We're all getting kind of hungry for lunch, so we're gonna go grab food because uh, you can hear it, but yeah, they're like taking down a wall in the kitchen, so there's plastic everywhere, so we can't really use the kitchen at the moment. I was gonna film today, but um, I got some done, and then I think I'm gonna edit because the, the audio, there's no chance, no chance for it. But yeah, oh, also Oscar, our landscaping guy stopped by, so we were talking about where the fire pit is gonna go and the plans for that and the outdoor shower. So excited. Now that like the concrete's done, everything just seems so fun that we're doing to the backyard. I'm like, ooh, fire pit, hot tub, shower, yes. And we are gonna do the light tan color decomposed granite over here. It's just the most natural looking, um, yeah. I mean, I still love the white. I'm gonna do the white somewhere over there. So this is the one that we're gonna do, just that sandy color. When it's compacted, it looks nice. It doesn't like kick up everywhere. They put this product on it to like really seal it down. Lunch, this looks so good. Okay, so we are at Home Depot. We're gonna pick out some plants, some little desert landscaping. Love these big agave plants. We could make some church tequila. The 24 inch ones are 249 bucks. For the agave? For the big guy? Yeah. And aloe for Achilles. Wow, that's kind that's of crazy. Oh, for the aloe vera. Yeah, these always look good. They're just little agave plants. Kinda. Kind of, ooh, pretty spiky, ooh. Love the cactus, so nice. These, fun fact everyone, dogs are, they're poisonous to dogs. Prove it, Oliver. Don't eat Oliver it, don't eat it. These are, they have a bunch of different um, types of agave. Like these are really tall and thin. They're, they're cool, I actually really like these. These could look cool in the entryway. These are, these agave plants, these are pretty big and they're only $25. Yeah, they're not in great condition. Like, but this is there. cool. I like these ones. Oh, they're, they're kinda... They've got like a lime tree or fig or something. We have a white these are looking kind of rough, but they actually can look good when they're like not dying as much. Yeah, this is a cool one. But would it be like dangerous for Airbnb? Like, look at these thorns. It's kind of scary. Hmm. This is a really cool cactus too. It's called 10 Roadkill Cactus. So we're just gonna get 
one of these guys, an agave, and this is a red yucca. This plant here is super pretty, but they're really bad for pools, I heard, that they get stuck in the pool filter. I love these. They're not like too spiky and they're nice and tall. I think this would look so good. So here are the three little plants that we got. This one, Monica thinks would look really good against that Sandy DG. Let's take a look. Yeah, it looks nice, nice tones there. This, this actually would look good with the white or the gray. So I've just been editing the video I was working on earlier, but I looked outside and I was like, another cool Palm Springs sunset. You know what first you got is so cool. Love the outdoor lights. I can't wait to watch the sunset from the hot tub, am I right? Yeah. Can you see it over there? Well, in the, if you look up, you can always see it. Just show me where you're gonna put your fire pit. Okay. Fire pit. Do, 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 do. Here. Yeah, you can see the sunset. Fire pit right here, I think, in the middle for symmetry. Uh, uh, okay, like right here, I guess. Got some kombucha and a wine glass. Wait, what do you think I wouldn't do? Par three course. Ooh. Would you? Maybe. We should clean the kitchen. <laughs> wow, they're all drinking wine out there and it seems like a great time, so I'm going to get quits with editing for today. Ooh, I love the candles. It's like we're at a hotel. Oh, I was gonna say, let's turn on these lights, but they're not in right now. 